dozens of cattle costing thousands of dollars stolen. Police say a Lampasas man is behind this crime. 25 News reporter Maggie Lowmiller learned just how the crook was able to keep it up. The suspect is accused of stealing 88 heads of cattle valued at about $65,000. Bill Watson was arrested and charged with two counts of theft of livestock. Authorities say the 63 year old sold 47 head of cattle that belonged to his employer, plus another 26 cattle. We stopped by Dars Creek Ranch in Holland to see how they protect their livestock from thieves. But it's pretty important to have some kind of a brand, either a fire brand, or a, a freeze brand. This six month old calf now bears the mark of the ranch. It's a very effective way of keeping animals, identifying animals. Another option is a system of ear notching or an ear tag. The problem with that is that they can cut the ear tag out. These registered black Anguses also are inked. The tattooing, that would work real good. Cameras around the ranch and watchful neighbors also help because ranching is big business. Cattle can sell for a pretty penny. Sometimes they you know, they go by the pound, and like calves are bringing, you know, a dollar fifty cents a pound. That calves worth six, seven hundred dollars, and if they weigh heavier than that, they might be worth seven, eight hundred dollars. Cows, depending on whether they are bred or not, might be worth fifteen hundred or more. Registered bulls rake in at least two thousand dollars, which is why they take their time to keep their herd contained. Pretty valuable animals. The investigation was a team effort by the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, as well as the Lampasas County Sheriff's Department. In Lampasas, Maggie Lawmiller, 25 News. Maggie, thank you. And just last month, a Falls County man was arrested for stealing 11 head of cattle that belonged to his former employer.